Okay, this is a brief demonstration of the process faculty can use to upload SCORM content to Blackboard. Blackboard supports SCORM standards 1.2 and 2004 as well as AICC. Um, all of these typically work when uploaded into Blackboard. Most of my experience has been with SCORM 1.2, but 2004 will also work. And once you have a SCORM pa uh, package prepared uh, using these instructions here, typically you just have to go into your publish settings and choose the SCORM checkbox and then the standard and then fill in some other information if, this, if the tool will allow you. Sometimes they just plug in uh, pre-prepared identifiers and keywords, but you can try to customize. Um, and then your reporting criteria in the in the um, authoring tool. Once you've got that prepared and exported as a package file, you can come to Blackboard and in a content area, you will go to build content and SCORM, content package SCORM. Browse for local files, select that package. So here's an example package that was authored in I think Captivate 8 or 9. I don't have the program installed to, to view the project file, but I, at least I have the, the final product here. And I'll click Open and Submit. And depending on how big this file is, it should process and take me to a screen to customize settings. So we'll just wait for that. Okay, here we go. So all of this gets pre-filled in based off of what I put into my authoring program when I created this program. So here we go. And to make this available, I click Make SCORM Available Yes. Here is where I can determine how many attempts I want students to have of this. Um, some faculty allow single attempt, but if you want to allow uh, multiple attempts or unlimited attempts, you can do that as well. Um, you can track number of views. That's just internal statistics in Blackboard for how many clicks this particular piece of content gets. And under grading, um, this should fill in pre-configured based off of what you selected in the authoring tool. Here is what I had elected when I prepared this uh, simulation maybe five years ago. So it's pre-filled in with grade with 100 points and the name of the assignment. I can make changes here. I can also determine how the score gets reported into the Blackboard Grade Center, either as a score, completion check mark, or so on. I usually just like to keep it as score so I can see the points earned, especially if there's a quiz that calculates points earned. And everything else I usually just leave off. I don't do the SCOS or grade timing. I usually just use the grade score option and just have it filled out and just select a score. And click Submit. And if you're successful, the package should look like this. Um, you may need to enroll a student user in the course, such as a colleague, or just request a, a real dummy student from the online learning department to access and test this because um, if you try to access this with student preview it won't get true replication of of the, the, the student's experience but you can try it here we go it's gonna load here we are So I'll continue with this just so we can see what happens here.
Okay, so let's see if anything posted in my grade. Sometimes student preview doesn't work like that, so let's just see. Yeah, so, yep, it did. So we got a score. So looks like, at least in this case, student preview is working with this particular scoring package and is logging a score. Okay, so it's working as expected. So that's the, the overview of how to add a SCORM package into a course and one way you can test it.